Now to see that how DHCP server actually assigns dynamically the IP addresses to the clients, let's take a, just, just let's create, create a very simple network. And for that network, we need maybe some clients. So maybe we are using these three computers and then we need a server. So we will configure that server as a DHCP server. So we have used this DHCP server and for connection, we are using a switch here. So this is a switch. And now we are going to configure this server as a DHCP server. So, so for that, first of all, this computer itself should have an IP address. So for that, we are going to assign an IP address to this server machine. So let's suppose that 192.168.10.1. This is the IP address for this server. And then we want to configure the services and the DHCP services on this on this uh, server. So that is the server. So for that, we just go to the services. And here you can see we have different services, but we are going to configure the DHCP services there. So we click on DHCP. And once we click on DHCP, we will have a window here. So for that, we can see we have different options. First option, for example, we have this pool name. So pool name means the pool means the collection of IP addresses which a server has. And that pool or that collection of IP address uh, has a name and we can use any name. But we, for example, we are going to use this by default name that is server pool. So there's a name of the pool uh, of the IP addresses which this server has. And then this is the uh, default gateway information. Uh, for example, we want to uh, not only send the IP addresses, but we also want to send the default gateway information to the clients. Then we can give that information here as well. So that's for example, 192.168.10.10. Let's say we want to advertise this default gateway. And then maybe DNS, so for example, 1.1.1. This is the DNS information which we also want to send to the clients when we receive a, when we receive a request for the IP address. And then start IP address. So let's suppose that we are saying that our uh, pool will have the starting IP address from 11 because we just use 10 here and 192.168.10.1 is the IP address of this server machine itself. So we start from 11 and this is the subnet mask for that class C IP address. And then how many users, for example, in our network we have. Let's suppose that we have 10 users on the network. So we say maximum number of users 10. And then we turn on the services. Remember, turn on the services and just save this configuration on this DHCP server. So we have saved this configuration there. And now we have this all information which we configured there. The default gateway, DNS server, pool name, and starting IP address, submit mask, and maximum users. So let's close it. And now just we need to make connection between this computer switch and the route uh, and this DHCP server. And for that, let's uh, take advantage of this connection. That is the, that will select the automatically the connection type. So just, I'm going to press it and also pressing the control button on the computer. And now just connect this PC to switch. So click on the computer, then the switch, click on this computer and the switch click from switch to this DHCP server. We have made all the uh, required connectivity. Let's press escape button there. And then we have this connectivity and maybe just click on this fast forward button. Now we have the connectivity. Now we have this DHCP server. Let's verify if these clients can receive an IP address from this DHCP server. So for that, I'm going to this computer and then desktop and the IP address. So in this IP address, we have these methods. One of the method is a static. So manually configure the IP address like 192 or whatever. But this time we have configured a DHCP server. So I'm going to select DHCP and you can see it's requesting for and the request is successful. See DHCP and this receive the IP address and you can see 192.168.10.11. This is one of the address from our uh, IP pool available on the servers and you can see the default gateway information has also been received so we configured this default gateway 
there and also the DNS information. So on request, this client not only received these addresses, the IP addresses, but the additional information as well, which we configure the DACP server to advertise or to send this to the client. So this was the for the first one. And now let's go to the next one, for example, and again, desktop and IP and select DACP, requesting IP address and request successful, the next IP address and default gateway, you can see this has been assigned to the next PC. Let's go to the third PC, desktop, IP, DHCP, requesting for it, request successful. It got the third IP address on so display. These all three clients has received an IP address. Let's, let's check it. So we can ping from this PC to IP address of this PC. So this PC you can see has the 192.168.10.13 IP address. So from this PC, let's ping 192.168.10.13 and press enter. And you can see we are receiving reply. So it means they are reachable. And uh, so yeah, this is the and for this uh, simple demonstration of DHCP server using Cisco Packet Tracer. And I hope this was a bit useful for you. And thank you very much. Hope to see you in some other video. Thank you.